The big night came where it was time to come out to him. I tried to say the words and I was totally paralysed. Physically, my mouth wouldn't say, I'm gay. And I had a school book on the countertop and I wrote, I'm gay and time stood still. I knew my life had changed forever. He came over and hugged me and he said, it's okay, I love you, we'll fix this. We'll fix this. That's the thing. Mm. He went off and um, he got upset and he became this ghost of a, a man. He had completely stopped talking to me, couldn't make eye contact with me. My mom said, go out to the garden, bring him a beer and have a chat to him. So I went out to him and I spoke to him and I probably said what I shouldn't have said. I wasn't as gentle as I could have been. I was like, look, this is who I am. One day I'm going to bring a guy back here home and I want you to embrace him and, and love him as I love him. And I'm going to marry him. It's all truthful too soon I think yeah. and then he completely physically broke down to his knees crying now we know uh, you know retrospectively it was him afraid of other people's opinions it wasn't the gay thing really it was just how is he going to break this down for the people in his life outside the family we found out years later uh, and he wouldn't mind me saying this because we've discussed it before publicly he contemplated taking his own life and he went downstairs looking for pills for one reason or another he didn't find them or he, he changed his mind and it didn't happen thank god oh. But that's the point that he was at. So my approach to people coming out is you've got to be as careful with your own mental health as the people that you're telling. 